Uh, so, as promised, like I said yesterday, I'm going to show you guys how to properly wash your hands and exit the bathroom without creating uh, as minimal cross-contamination as you can. Alright, so, first things first, you get done doing what you're doing, go ahead and flush the toilet, you ain't gonna worry about, you know, doing anything that you're not supposed to be doing. Um, hands dirty because you're about ready to wash your hands. So you shut the lid and then you come over and if you could avoid using your hands, avoid using your hands. If you don't have an automatic one, this is what you do. So get some, some paper towels out, a nice long amount. Go ahead and turn on the sink. Okay. So you got your paper towels out. You got your soap. You got your water running. Get some soap. All right, now this is the important part, okay? You don't just sit here and do this and you're done. That's not enough, all right? You need to not only be rubbing your hands together, but putting your fingers together like this because you gotta get in between all the nooks and crannies in here, okay? They say sing happy birthday twice, but I'm telling you, if you wash your hands the proper way, you'll be in here more than enough time. Get each knuckle, okay? Spread the knuckle out, get inside the knuckle, all right? Now, you might need a little bit more water to keep it, keep it going. Get all the nooks and crannies on your thumbs, okay? More soap here. Now, we're still not done. You need to come up your wrists, about the middle of your forearm, getting the side of your hands, getting in here, again, now another important part, getting into your nail beds, okay, because that's where bacteria and dirt collect the most. I unfortunately have a uh, cracked fingernail now because I busted my fingernail a couple weeks ago. I smashed my finger pretty good. Now, to get into the nail beds, scratch the top of your hands. Getting the soap at an angle like this, getting the soap into your nail beds. Okay, they say wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. I've probably been washing my hands now for what, almost a minute? Just doing normal procedures. All right? Now, we're gonna rinse off. So even though we've touched the toilet, we've touched the paper towel dispenser, we've touched the soap, and we touched the sink with contaminated hands. The only way to decontaminate that those areas is having Lysol or any kind of spray disinfectant, uh, Lysol wipes, anything like that. Um, and that's really up to the responsibility of either you as a homeowner or the business that you're at. So now we're gonna take the paper towel, we're gonna rip it in half. Don't dry your hands yet. We're gonna turn off the sink. If you would like to just kind of wipe that down a little bit, good. Wipe that down a little bit, good. Throw. Now you take your last paper towel, dry your hands, and now how do we get out? Well, you still have your paper towel. Open the door, kick it open, or use your arm to push it open, holding your arm in like this. And that's the proper way that you should be washing your hands, okay, um, and exiting the bathroom. Don't touch the door, don't touch anything else, and exit, all right? I hope that helps. Uh, use that safe practice, and it's gonna help balance. And make sure that you're washing your hands frequently, not just once or twice a day. If you come in contact with a lot of things that are public use, as soon as you get to a bathroom, wash your hands, okay? All right, see you guys later.